Okay, here we have our herringbone that uh, I bent in a different uh, video. So you can take a look at that if you want to see how that's happening. And what I'm going to do here is route a pocket in the top of the guitar to accommodate not only the herringbone but also the binding which we bent earlier as well. Okay, and here we have the channel cut, as you can see all around the body. And we'll clean that up and we'll cut a secondary channel for the uh, binding itself. Okay, changed our bits on the router, reset our depth, and away we go. Flip it over. Okay, and here we have the binding channel cut. Okay, just finished up the other end there, and here we have at least the one side. When you're doing binding, expect to get glue on you, and everywhere else too. And I guess we'll just wrap up the other side. Here we have both sides done. Again, in our rough form. And one of the things you can't hear from okay, looking good. I think it's going to be a really nice, crisp, yet warm. And do a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Try to keep everything uh, in the warm tone category. And off we go. And uh, you probably can't notice here, but I decided to change the wood on the binding from a uh, bobina binding to a flamed sapile binding. And I like this much better. I didn't, uh, the contrast wasn't quite as dramatic. It didn't frame the guitar the way I wanted it to. So I decided to make a change. 
just so it's a nice frame. Looks really, really good. Very happy with it. It frames out and uh, brings out the herringbone very nicely. Not sure if that can be seen there. What is nice is you can see a little bit of that flame along the side there. Which is going to show up really nice. Nice fiddle back or flame going on here. And there we have a little more cleanup, some fine sanding, but the binding is now all taken care of. The rest of it is just fine sanding before uh, we do the finish. Uh, now maybe we'll get started on the neck.